done this, Tom, Tommy. She's done this a hundred times. <laughs> Maybe see you. A wedding is when two inspired as one, gather together their friends and family to acknowledge and affirm the love they share. Erica and Nick have invited you to be here with them today in the dear presence of God to see and to know the love they have for each other. To this moment in time, they offer the fullness of their as a treasure to share with one another. To this moment in time, they offer that particular personality and spirit uniquely their own and from which their future will blossom together. When a husband and wife are united in heart, in body, and in mind, the most wonderful ingredients of life are added unto them as intended by God. Because true marriage is... you felt on your wedding day when your spark was so bright your enthusiasm was so powerful it was capable of any challenge whatsoever today you are invited to take the opportunity to renew your vows and reaffirm the commitment and vow for you those of you who are not married can contemplate what marriage really is you can pay tribute to the ingredients that you deem necessary for a loving marriage a loving relationship and so to each of you, I greet you. This is a unique, beautiful setting here. Please join with us in prayer at this time. ...the deepest, the most intimate relationship on earth. You are not entering into this marriage for reasons of security. For the only real security is not in owning or possessing, not in being owned or possessed, not in demanding or expecting, 
and not even hoping that what you think you need in life have them in even greater abundance. And to attain and maintain this closeness, you must make and keep the commitment within yourselves, individually, to give to each other freely and gladly for the sake of living life. There is no doubt in my mind that each of you is aware of and have felt the warmth of this couple. This is because Without realizing it at one point, Erica and Nick stopped thinking of themselves as only individuals and have started to think of themselves as part of something greater. They have grown to appreciate the nearness and trust that this comes from this kind of friendship. And they are grateful that each and every one of you is here because it's more than just a festivity and fun for them. It's truly about celebrating and sharing with each of you, their dear friends, family, their loved ones. So they've asked me to take a moment out to acknowledge each of you and to thank you for all the love you've given to them over the years and continue to give them. And I'd also like to give a special congratulations to the moms and dads. Erica and Nick are absolutely blessed to have you in their lives. You have truly given them the right models for values and for truly knowing how to love and support another person. So thank you moms and dads. When I got together with them, I asked them if they wanted to do something fun, something creative, and they said, sure. I said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to email me in separate email so the other doesn't see endings to the phrase, I love you because, and that I would surprise you during the ceremony. And this is the surprise. From Erica, I love you. I love you because no one in this world can make me laugh as loud as you can. And because you're playful and fun and brawly and bossy. <laughs> and I know you'll make a great dad in several years when we have kids. <laughs> I love you because you're humble and you truly don't believe you're better than anyone else, even though I know you are better than anyone else. <laughs> I love you because I can tell you anything I'm thinking or feeling, and you always understand me. And because you take your coffee the same as me, French vanilla with a little bit of coffee. <laughs> I love you because you make the best protein shakes in your chocolate chip, and your chocolate chip cookies are a big hit and because your family is as cool as mine. We can be as silly and crazy as we want, and they still love us. I love you because your love for life and lighthearted spirit pour out, and people can't help but enjoy your company. And because anything I do from grocery shopping to hiking is a thousand times more fun with you. I love you because you do neat magic tricks for the kids, yet everyone else in the room is entertained by your enthusiasm. I just sit there and watch you. I love you because when we go out for a jog, you pretend I could win against you when we race to the end of the street. I love you because we have a million inside jokes and we think the same things are funny. It's like we finish each other's sentences. <laughs> And I love you because you're so sweet and encouraging when we work out or hike together. It make, makes me laugh when you tell me I'm stronger than most of your friends, even though they are obviously beefed up and I can't do a single pull up. I love you because I know my dad would love you and he is so happy for us. He'd love to talk sports with you. And because wherever we go, we bring rain and we still have fun. I love you because you're so appreciative when I heat up 
a leftover meal you missed at Aunt Joe's or my mom's. You act as though I slaved over it myself. And I love you because you make me want to be a better person. Whenever I'm lost, I look at you and remember who I am and where I want to be. From Nick. I love you because when I try to be funny, no one laughs. I can always count on you for a laugh. And then to rub my back and say, good one, babe, good one. <laughs> and because when I see you with Raylan, I can't help but smile and know that our kids are going to be so lucky to have a mom like you. And because every time you walk into a room, the room gets brighter from the beautiful glow of your smile. I love you because when I'm not with you, I can't wait to see you. I can't get you out of my mind. I constantly talk about you to anyone that will listen to me, and those that listen generally have to listen to me for hours. <laughs> because once I start talking about you, I won't stop. And I love you because you have, since you have been in my life, I find myself constantly smiling and laughing. I feel more energetic. I am more focused, more determined, more alive. I love you because you make everyone around you so much better of a person, including me. And because when I need my back itched, you are always there to scratch it. And because there are three and a half billion other guys that would love to be me right now. I love you because every time my cell phone rings, I run to answer it hoping it's you. And because one of the first baseball games we went to, you said that there's nothing like a Miller Lite and a bag of salty peanuts at a baseball game. I think that's when I fell in love with you. Just kidding. I love you because watching you sleep is pleasure to my eyes and my soul. And in that moment, watching and admiring you in your sleep, I know that nothing else matters in life because I have you to spend the rest of my life with, to grow old with, and to love. That's all I need. I love you because when I was writing these, I was thinking of you and that smile you had, thinking of this very moment that we are in and how much happiness you have brought me. I couldn't help but just cry with joy. I love you because the six-hour road trips we go on seem like they go by in five minutes because I have so much fun with you, especially when you read aloud to me. I love you because you remind me that I need to brush my teeth at night by putting toothpaste on my toothbrush so it's ready for me. I love you because every time I look into your eyes, I take a deep breath, smile, and thank God for creating someone like you. And I love you because you are proof that angels do exist. <laughs> May I have the rings, please? symbol of joining, not restricting. For love cannot be possessed, nor can it be restricted, and the soul can never be trapped. Wow. And now I'm going to ask you to repeat your vows after me. At any time, especially of course the end, if you haven't done so, Place the ring on your partner's left fourth finger and say to them, him, her, I will be. So whenever you want to do that in this process. So Nick, face each other. And Nick, say these words after me. With this ring, I, Nicholas James, give to you my promise that from this day forward, 
you shall not walk alone. You are my dearest friend. May my heart be your shelter. May my arms be your home. May we walk together through all things. May you feel deeply loved because you are. Erica, with this ring, I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I promise I shall always do my best as your husband and as your partner in life. I feel so honored to marry you. May there be nothing less than this joy forever. And Erica, please repeat after me. With this ring, I, Erica Lynn, give you my promise that from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. You are my dearest friend. May my heart be your shelter. May my arms be your home. May we walk together through all things. May you feel deeply loved because you are. Nick, with this ring, I give you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I promise I shall always do my best as your wife and as your partner in life. I feel so honored to marry you. May there be nothing less than this joy forever. Erica and Nick. Stand by you now, and we bless you. As I call my goal, with honor and much delight, now officially pronounce you husband and wife. And I see the light and loving of God in your hearts. Every present, every day, in your lives together. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great joy and happiness that I now present to you, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nick Lorenz. Ha, 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 ha.